it's Wendy Cranford. How are you today? I'm doing great. I just wanted to show you guys how to make these this cool um, gift bag and card. So I saw somebody that made this gift bag at um, one of my uh, card groups that I attend. Here's the, it's just a brown paper bag and then it opens like this. So you could put a gift card in here or you could put treats. Um, one of my cousins asked me if I would mind making him something special for him to put gift cards in for his kids for Christmas. So he has two daughters and a son, so I thought this would be a really cool thing to put a gift card in. And he could add a little piece of candy or something like that. And then I made um, this little 3x3 three three note card so that he can include a note to them and also stick it inside. So I wanted to show you how to make these items, so let's get started. So you're going to start out with a regular size lunch bag and you're going to cut it off at 3 and 7 eighths. That's how I just lined the bottom of the bag up while it was folded and measured to 3 and 7 eighths and cut it off. So then you have your bag and then you're going to need two pieces of cherry cobbler and one is cut at 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 3 eighths and the other is cut at 5 and a quarter by five and three eighths. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to score the five and a quarter piece. So you're gonna want your simply scored. And you wanna make sure you score it on the right side. And you're gonna score it at the Four inch mark. Okay. And then what I did is I used a corner rounder to to round all of my corners. And then you're going to use um, some adhesive on your brown paper bag. I was pretty generous with how much adhesive I used because I don't want it peeling away. So I made sure to get all around the edges really well. Okay. And so this will be my front piece. I'm just going to kind of line it up here best I can and cover that. And then on the back, this is the bottom of the bag. So you want to just fold this down onto itself so that you're adhering to the outside of the bag. You could probably just use um, some sticky strip around the edges if you wanted. or um, Okay, so then you're going to want to put it down with your flap facing away from you. And I'm just going to line this up best I can to the bag. There we go. So then when it stands up, it looks like this. Okay. <clears throat> then I have two pieces of um, the Be of Good Chair paper. This is my favorite design in that set, so I've been using it a lot. Um, and you're going to have, these are going to be cut at five inches by three and three quarters. So oh, first thing we need to do is corner around them. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and add the front piece, and then I have the little bitty piece here to go on the front, and it is cut at one and a quarter inch by five inches, and I'm going to also corner around it. Okay, so there's that piece. So then I've cut out, um, <clears throat> out of our framelit set, I cut out a piece of gumball green out of the labels framelits. This is the third largest. So if you're going from the small smallest one, this is the third one up. So I'm going to add this, and 
the way I added this was to add it, I wanted it under the flap so just the bottom part sticking out. So I'm just putting it in the center up near the top like that, okay? And then um, I used my one and three quarter inch circle scallop punch with cherry cobbler and I want to put the Christmas tree on the front so I have a piece of very vanilla here and my little Christmas tree. This Christmas tree is from the Jolly Bingo Bits and I used my uh, Stampin' Write markers. Whoops. This one is uh, Early Espresso. Stamp it. It really doesn't matter where I stamp it because I'm going to punch it out. And I'm using the 1 and 3 8 inch circle. I'm just punching it out. And then underneath the tree, I wanted to add something there, like a little sentiment. And it just so happens that the Pennant Parade set has the perfect little sentiment, teeny tiny, and it says Mary. So I just used my Cherry Cobbler ink pad. To stamp Mary underneath. And then I'm using my Stampin' Dimensionals here. Oh, no, not on this part. Just here. Just on this part. To pop up that. And then here I'm going to actually put this scallop circle kind of halfway on the flap and halfway coming down onto the label framelit. So I'm just going to put adhesive across the top piece like this. And just adhering it into the middle like so. And then I have these Velcro um, pieces that I got from, I think I got them, I don't know, they're from a craft store. So they're, you know, just little Velcro dots and you peel them off and I placed it here first where I wanted it on the back of the flap and then just left them Velcroed together and pushed it down so that the sticky would stick to the other side. So now it will Velcro shut. Okay, so then for the handle, the last step is really simple. I just took a pair of my paper snips and I ran them along here like this to make slits. And I took a piece of um, the Victoria crochet trim, put a knot in one end, and you're going to go up through the bottom like so, this slit, and then you're going to go back through the other side where you've made the slit. And then you'll just judge how long you want your strap and make a knot at this end. And then I'm just going to trim the excess off so that it's nice and clean. And there you have your purse. Your little gift bag purse, which I think is just absolutely adorable. You could fill this with anything you wanted for Christmas. So that's the purse, and then the card is super simple. Um, all I did was corner around the tag, I mean the edges, the corners, 
real quick. This is just a very vanilla piece. It's cut at six by three, folded in half to make a three by three size card. And then I had a piece of cherry cobbler paper here. Oh, I punched out of it. Isn't that lovely? Okay. So this was my cherry cobbler paper. Um, and so I'll just corner around the edges really quick like this and I added this okay and then I punched a piece this is the same size scallop this is the one and three quarter inch scallop circle and I just adhered that down and I'm just going to line it up in here to cover that hole. That worked out perfect. And then I used the little um, gift from the Jolly Bingo Bit set. And that's this set. <clears throat> I love this set. It comes in so handy for so many things. And again, I'm just going to use my... gumball green here for the gift and I'm gonna punch and my dimensionals are floating around here somewhere here they are I'm just going to put one dimensional right in the middle and put this guy in the middle. And there we go. Makes a super cute card, little note card and it can go inside this bag as the note for the gift. So thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye bye.